Hey guys, I wanted to show you a little demo here on the difference right now between Ra Racer and Wraith Band, especially on these strength off laners. Uh, Wraith Band is the meta at high MMR, 100%. Very few people are buying Bracers in the lane now, they're buying Wraith Bands. Um, why is that? So the stats are the key here and what it gives you in addition to the stats. So a Bracer for a strength off laner gives five strength, two agi, two int, two damage. So seven damage. And it gives the health regen. The health regen is very bad. Uh, 0.75 is, it, it's very close to just having one mango. Uh, it's very close. It's basically, it's not negligible, but it's very bad. If you look at the Wraith Band, so it gives you five agility, two strength, two int. So they both give two int. Um, and then the difference here is Wraith Band gives six attack speed and two armor. So the basics of Dota trading, like in a lane, are, you know, your damage, taking into account your attack speed and your armor and your health pool. If you're just right clicking, determine who wins the trades. Pretty simple, right? Like if you do enough damage and you have enough armor to survive long enough, like you'll win the trade. So the regen component of Bracer does not help with trades almost at all. Uh, it's very, very negligible versus the six attack speed and two armor is actually quite impactful. Now, six attack speed is not a lot. Like, don't get me wrong. Um, it's actually not just six attack speed. It's actually 11 because of the agi. So if you look at our attack speed right now, it's 135. And if we drop this bracer... It's 124. So it's actually 11 attack speed from the from the Wraith Band, which is like pretty big, right? 11 attack speed. A Glove of Haste is 15, right? Oh no, it's 20. So it's like half a Glove of Haste though, just in attack speed alone. And the damage, like in, on the Bracer. Okay, so the Bracer does give two damage, two flat damage. I didn't realize that. So the Bracer gives two flat damage versus the Wraith, Wraith Band does not give flat damage. So the Bracer for a strength off laner would give 7 damage. And it's only going to give 2 damage on the Wraith Band. So it's 7 damage versus 2 damage, but the increased attack speed... So this Bracer gives two, 2 attack speed, right? The Wraith Band in total gives 11. And then the Wraith Band armor component is the 5 agility, which is... Um, each point in agility is about one sixth of an armor. So Wraith Band's almost three armor. Like I I'm sitting at four plus two, it rounds it, right? We're at four. Does it show the exact numbers here? 4.1, seven. So literally 2.9, 2.9 armor from this Wraith Band. And you know, keep in mind, Ring of Protection is two armor. So this is giving like one and a half Rings of Protection, a half a Glove of Haste, plus two damage, instead of seven, right? So five less damage than the Bracer. And then we're missing out on the health regeneration component, which as I mentioned, mangoes are popular these days. If you're just holding a mango, it's the same. Um, and you are missing out on some HP as well. The Bracer gives five strength. Each one point of strength is 20 health. So it's a hundred HP, right? If I drop this, it'll be 860. Yes. And the Wraith Band has only two strength. So that's 40 HP. So if I drop this, I'll be at 920. So Right, in comparison, we've got 860 HP with, you know, 6.6 armor and 133 attack speed. And then if we swap the items, we're going to be at 920 HP, but we're only at 4 armor and we're at 124 attack speed. So just to kind of demo this, I, I practiced this a couple times just to see what would happen myself. So we've got a Jug with Blade Dance leveled, and he's got like a wand... Blades of Attack, Boots of Speed, right? Maybe this guy's going face boots. We've got Wand, a Bracer. We'll hold this Mango, and we have our Moment of Courage leveled. So if you have these attack each other, they're both level 2. And, you know, with some crit regen, or sorry, crit chance plus Moment of Courage chance, like, this could a little bit go either way. When I first ran it, I was surprised. Um, the Jug actually won. It looks like here the Legion's going to win, but it's close. It's very close. Uh, like one more crit, one less moment of courage, and um, the 
uh, the Jug would have won that. And now we'll just try it again with the Wraith Band. And we're level 3. We're going to leave our Moment of Courage at level 1. And so if we have them attack each other again, this is with the Legion holding the Wraith Band. They're both level 3 now. We actually lo leveled up... Um, I don't mean leveled up Jug's Band, not as great. But you can see this is like a lot less close. You see Jug getting some lucky crits there. Um, not quite as close though. And you know, maybe this difference is a little hard to see, like the Bracer versus the Wraith Band. But it adds up over time is the key. Like it's not always the all-in trade. It's you took a little bit less damage in this engagement and then a little bit less damage in the next engagement. Maybe you got one more extra right click in with the attack speed. Um, so that is the key with the Wraith Band. That's why so many people are buying it. Just overall in trades, um, the armor is like helpful if more creeps are hitting you. Like this is just a 1v1 scenario with only one source of damage incoming. But if you've got creeps and a support also right clicking you, the armor plays a lot more. Um, typically strength offlaners have higher base HP to begin with and lower armor. So like the difference in extra health from this bracer is less impactful. Like it's a it's a smaller percentage of your overall HP versus like the armor, right? Like Centaur is like the key example, right? If Centaur has zero armor, he starts with like zero armor basically, and you add two armor, that's two to his um, armor, and then you add the slightly less HP. Like he already starts with super high HP. So the effective HP here, HP when you consider reductions is much higher on a hero like Centaur with a Wraith Band versus a bracer because he doesn't really need the extra hp but he could really use the extra armor and then the attack speed obviously helps like it, it can't hurt and the regen component like i said for the bracer is basically ne negligible um, the extra two damage you get is like also pretty negligible especially with a quelling blade like most strength offlaners don't have a lot of trouble like last hitting like competing in base damage with the enemy agi carries for the most part like, unless the enemy is, like, a strength carry, like a CK or life stealer, in which case it's a little different. Um, but even those heroes sometimes are buying... You, I, I wouldn't be surprised if I looked on Dota 2 Pro Tracker and saw, like, a Chaos Knight carry going a Wraith Band, you know? They, they buy it for the same reason that a strength offlaner would. So that's a little demo and um, explanation of the Wraith Band and why it's so popular. If you saw my most recent video, it's also common to load up on stats. These extra stats, just like we talked about, the extra one attack speed, the extra one sixth point of armor, the extra 20 HP from each iron branch, right? For like freaking Tundra 33 over here, you know, who needs a who needs a Quelling Blade? Just be good at last hitting and just have all these extra stats, right? And it really does add up. These small trades matter. If you're doing this and your opponents aren't, like especially a lower MMR, right? Then you will just always have these like tiny advantages in your trades. Now, that's not to say you can just make bad decisions and have it still go well you know you still have to be smart but if you're itemizing in this way and eking out every little advantage you can get in every trade then over the course of your lane you should see that pay out uh, you can see my most recent video on iron branches for some t examples of that uh, let me know if you have any questions wraith bands op and people by the way uh in, in terms of buying one or two almost always people are going one uh, there's like cases where like carries like drow will buy like multiple wraith bands, but that's because um, for drow like kind of tanks her up a bit and she really likes the attack speed and the damage is good for transitioning to jungle versus some of the other items she could buy. A sniper is the same versus like it used to be meta to go double bracer on our off laners and that was before they nerfed the bracer. The bracer used to give better health regen. Um, it just straight up the health regen was like. I don't remember exactly what it was. It was like 1 or 1 1.25. So like with the nerf down to 0.75, it's just not as comparable to Mangoes anymore. I think with the increased popularity of items like Falcon Blade, it just... Like buying two Bracers, really, it, it really takes a long time. Like if you're trying to buy double Bracer, you know, Phase Boots 1, like unless you're stomping your lane, like it takes a long time to get there. It seems like the lanes, I don't know, at least at the higher level, the lanes are breaking down early-ish to where, like, the lane's going to be over by the time you get these items, and these are essentially laning items. Um, it's not as easy to just, like, rush the double bracer to start with and then, like, own your lane that way, right? Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't seem like it anyways, so 
Most people are just buying the one Wraith Band. Going a second one is kind of too expensive, and it's like kind of just doubling down on like the laning aspect, right? We did we usually don't want to be doing this. Um, it's too expensive, and then you run into slot issues fairly quickly. So that that whole old double bracer meta kind of thing has kind of fallen off. So I wouldn't do that anymore. Uh, but if you're just going like an item build, especially on the strength offlaners, like something like this with like the uh, iron branches, uh, like this kind of stuff is like real nice. Like if you're, if you're like if you're running a build like this, it feels really good. Uh, you sustain in the lane. Um, you're strong. Uh, I don't know. It just it just feels nice. So let me know if you have any questions. This is the bracer versus wraith band explanation, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, sub to the channel. And if you want to be coached by me, check the link in the video description. You can join my Discord there, and there's all the information there on how to sign up.